This weekend's cold weather won't be kind to Florida's strawberries. Farmers in the Bay Area are prepared to protect their crops as best they can from the freezing temperatures. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers shows us how farmers in Plant City are working to save their prized strawberries. We are seeing some of the coldest weather this Christmas weekend than we've seen in decades. And for many of us, it just means putting on a few more layers before walking out the door. But for farmers here in Plant City, they say their livelihood is on the line. Matt Park has been working nonstop to try to save the strawberries at his farm in Plant City as temperatures dip below freezing. So you've had these sprinklers running. How does that protect the strawberries? Well, as you can see right here, you know, we have a, a protective layer of ice over, over top of these berries and even the strawberries itself. Really what we're protecting right now is this, this per se, our, 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 our strawberries and these right here, our flowers, which is the most delicate. Um, any kind of frost damage on that would make it unmarketable fruit, you know, and a loss for us. Park says his and his family's livelihood is at stake. Me and my family's livelihood, I mean, everything's online. You know, if we have a, a mishap, as water turns off, you know, we're where we could uh, end up losing the farm. The Park family has been harvesting strawberries at Parksdale Farms since the mid-1950s. You can lose it all. It's nothing new for Gary Park, who picked as many strawberries as he could Friday before the freeze. Believe it or not, the, you, you do have a playbook for this. This usually happens, I believe the general rule is about three to five times a year, and so you're prepared for it. Part of that playbook, lots of last-minute decisions that could be the difference between a successful season and a total loss. You haven't turned on the water, you don't want to, because uh, if you turn on the water, you're going to lose a percentage. You try to make it single digits, which is, you can deal with that, but uh, you'd rather not turn on at all if, if you get a chance. Gary says in his time as a farmer, he's seen two total losses, so it can happen. But farmers will continue working diligently here in Plant City to make sure that doesn't happen. In Plant City, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.